Hello, welcome to Spurred On, I'm Rhys James. Now, you may have seen, and you should have seen, the Man City game at the weekend, where Lamella and Eriksen teamed up to score an incredible winning goal in the 83rd or something minute, and my phone went crazy. It was incredible. I was punching the air. What a victory. Now, they have clearly proven to be two impressive foreign imports. So I thought, why not go through history of Spurs and go through the top five foreign imports that have ever played for Spurs? Now, just to clarify, when I say foreign, I mean overseas. And I know Ireland is overseas, but that doesn't count, right? I mean quite far away overseas. I mean English as a second, third, fourth, fifth language, just not the first language. That's foreign. In at number five, it's Dimitar Berbatov. 10.9 million pounds is what we signed him for, which made him the most expensive Bulgarian footballer ever at the time, which is quite an impressive uh, accolade, isn't it? A lot of competition there. What a classy striker, very effortless, very cool. Had an amazing partnership with Robbie Keane, such a good partnership that they were the first players ever to share the Player of the Month award in April 2007, something I'm surprised Jan and Toby haven't done since. Uh, he scored a penalty in the 2-1 win in the League Cup final against Chelsea in 2008, which Woodgate went on to score the winner in extra time uh, and he got four goals in one game against Reading an absolute class player and he made us 20 million pounds profit number four is my childhood hero David Ginola I had both a home and an away shirt with his name on it both long sleeve at the time good guy uh, amazing player such a classy footballer in 1997 uh, he signed for us and he was instrumental in preventing us from getting relegated that season it was a tough time for Spurs uh, and the following season he pretty much single-handedly stopped Man United winning the quadruple in the quarter-final of the League Cup he was absolutely incredible scored so many amazing goals he was amazing on the ball what a dribbler what a finisher incredible player one of the classiest players I've ever seen play live and he was classy on the pitch and off in his shampoo adverts lathering up and he still loves Spurs always talks about us when he's doing his punditry what a guy Number three is Ricky Villa. The Argentine midfield wizard arrived in 1978. He scored 18 goals in 133 appearances for us. And one of them, which is one of the main reasons in this list, is one of the best goals of all time, uh, which he scored in the FA Cup final replay in 1981 against City. Right, He scored the winning goal where he weaved in and out of everyone, dribbled all over, took on basically 11 men twice. He took on 22 men, basically, and then he slotted it home. It was a sensational goal. It won him Wembley goal of the century in 2001. That's how good it was. And it was pretty reminiscent of when Lamella gave Caballero the runaround against City. Argentine Spurs players love playing City. In at number two is Jurgen Klinsmann. Now, the only reason he's not number one is because only they're really there for like a year and a half in total. So he doesn't compare to some of the players who did it for a long time on repeat. Uh, in 1994, he arrived. Uh, at first, the media and the fans were critical of him, mainly because he had a reputation of being a diver. But then he scored on his debut, uh, and they did a celebration in which he mockingly dived to the floor. It was self-deprecating. The media loved him. One journalist who'd written an article when he arrived called Why I Hate Jürgen Klinsmann, just two months later wrote one called Why I Love Jürgen Klinsmann. He won the nation's heart. What a guy. And like Kanye West said, shut the fuck up and enjoy the greatness. What a tweet. He scored 30 goals in 50 appearances for Spurs. Uh, and when he left for Bayern Munich after just one year the first time, Lord Sugar said uh, that he wouldn't even wash his car with a signed Klinsmann shirt. That is the impact this guy had in just one year of playing for Spurs. That's how good he was. Uh, and he even got his own waxwork in Madame Tussauds. Incredible. In at number one is Ozzy Ardiles, another Argentinian Spurs legend who paved the way for an influx of foreign stars to join English football. Here's how different football was in 1978, by the way. This guy, who had just, literally just won the World Cup with Argentina, signed for us for £325,000. That's pretty much what Wayne Rooney gets every week now to do nothing. Unbelievable. Uh, he played huge parts in the FA Cup win in 1981 and the UEFA Cup win in 1984 and was so good that Chaz and Dave even teamed up with him and the rest of the Spurs squad to create a hit song that came in at number five in the charts called Ozzy's Dream with the famous line, Ozzy's going to Wembley, his knees have gone all trembly, na 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 na, which my granddad sang to me every day for six years. Uh, and that song is only slightly less embarrassing than Ozzy's brief time as Spurs manager, where we finished, I think, 14th, 15th. It wasn't ideal. But he still tweets about us every week. He does a running commentary on every game. He loves Spurs and we love him. Ozzy, you're a legend. Honourable mentions, there's one main one. If there was a sixth place on this list, he would be it. It's Rafa van der Vaar. What a player. I absolutely love watching van der Vaar and sitting quite near his wife at Spurs. Ex-wife, Jesus. Um, but he was a great player. He was uh, Daniel Levy's gift to Harry Redknapp for getting us qualification to the Champions League and he was pivotal in us getting to the quarterfinals of that competition. He was such, he just scored so many goals. I watched a montage of his goals recently and his assists. He was just fantastic. Van der Vaart, I love you. Come back whenever you want, mate, even though 
though you could only make it to the 70th minute every game, still an absolute Spurs hero. That has been my top five Spurs foreign specific uh, definition of foreign there. Imports. Let me know any ones that I've missed in the comments. Uh, don't go mad at me for not putting Van der Vaart number one. I know you all love him. I love him too. Okay. He's in my top six. He's in my top six, guys. Chill out. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give us a like if you like the video. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. And I'll see you next time. Hello, I'm Reese James. Welcome back to Spurred On. Now, Sunday is a huge game. We've got Man City away. We beat him earlier in the season. Can we do it again? It could be season defining. I want to put the positive vibes out there, so I thought I'd run down my top five Spurs v Man City Spurs victories.